Kill the rabbit. <laughs> Wait, where are we going? We got our thing. You got our here. That was. Yeah. Anyways, <coughs> where are we okay. on? Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing? That looked a lot cooler in our heads. <laughs> like it's gonna be epic. There's gonna be cool Everything music. Everything is always cooler. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, what do we have here, Dan? These are crazy. This is crazy. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to another uh, <coughs> Brick Maniacs. It is time for another episode of Brickmania TV. Fact. They spin <laughs> anyway. Dun, 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 dun. Right. Enough, enough. <sighs> anyway, okay, so what do we have here? We have Lana, what do we have? Here? I don't know. What do we have? These are Hueys. Hueys! Hueys! These are Hueys. So yes, we are in back to Vietnam. Back to, back to Vietnam. The jungles. We have two 19, different models 1965, here. 1965. Back yeah. to the jungles. Anyway. Two different models and a whole bunch of stuff spewed out across the table. Let me here. let me just introduce this thing real okay, quick. This is go. the UH on D. So this is classic Vietnam era slick. You know, basically slick because it doesn't have wheels and right. it's, a, it's it's a it's it's a clean, uh, basically transport helicopter. So the UH-1 was the American, you know, it was the jeep of the Vietnam age. You, basically, the idea was that you you fly into battle and uh, you'd be delivered in this this glorious warbird. Glorious warbird. War, glor glorious Bell's glorious warbird, the UH-1. This is the UH-1D. It was a stretched version, meant to design for cargo passengers. Basically, you, you come into battle, land on the ground, kill and destroy the enemy, and then when you solve at the end of the day, you get back in your helicopter, you go away. Um, nice. our, if, you, if that was the mission. Sometimes, that was the mission. sometimes you'd actually go and occupy right. ground, but that way the, the helicopters would ferry in troops, uh, war, you know, serve as ambulances and stuff. I was going to show you this. So this, this is like the third or fourth generation UH-1 that, that Brickmania has put out. Mm -hmm. Every time we make it a little bit better, you may remember people, our customers may have some of the previous ones. The lot, this is our, our latest take on it. It's kind of been a long time coming. People have been asking for it for a while. Finally getting getting down on our list to do it. Fixed a lot of the, the, the issues that the previous one had. I mean, it really didn't have that many issues, but w the main one was that over time these skids, the original skids would actually, they were made out of flex tubing and they would bend and your helicopter would slowly droop down this mm -hmm. way. Uh, fix that problem. Right. A couple other issues that we, th we didn't have this little door before. There is a little little side door. You know, you had, the main, door. you had the main sliding door, but you get this little side door, so you can actually take stretchers with 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 injured injured soldiers mm -hmm. and throw slide them right through there. So it's actually, like, I mean, historically speaking, that was one of the most revolutionary things about about the Huey is, is its medical capabilities. It just right. There were there there were previous medical helicopters, but you really couldn't bring a lot of passengers mm -hmm. inside. This this is this is. You know, bigger, faster. It has a turbine engine. It's like a jet, basically like a, tur a turbine jet engine in here. Um, this particular model just has one. They later, you know, the Marines, being the Marines, they wanted something a little bit more reliable. They always sure. thought two engines are better than one. So there's a there's another later versions of the Huey that have uh, twin engines. But this is the original classic UH-1D. D being the model that was most commonly used. It was basically your passenger, uh, our utility version. Um, so. The kit here, it has room inside. You have seats for two two pilots. Um, it comes clean. We didn't put any weapons on it. You do get the sticker sheet. It's a real small, simple Super sticker sheet. Super simple sticker sheet for this. So the sticker base sheet model. just has the, the tail United States Army. That was the, almost ubiquitous. You almost always saw the United States Army on. Just, you know, look at v pictures of Vietnam. It's, it's the most common. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't put any Union insignias, but the, uh, we did include the stickers for the window. So you get that nice, you know, this little window in the front is, is smaller than the others. Right. We did give you a sticker for that. There's a Lego piece that looks like that. It only came out like for like a little tiny window in like 2005 or something. Is that a joke? No, there's like, you, little, can't, you, you can't even get them. I a mean, little tiny window. A little came tiny out window. And during a little it, time. a little tiny window of time, right. <laughs> Clever, right? Oh wow! Oh, God, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but anyway, we, we did. This is this is what the basic kit comes with. We decided to sell a stripped down version. We've done this before. Then we just you know put add-on packs. We kind of went a little overboard. So this is the UH-1B. <laughs> comes in this box. It's, it's pretty well packed. Everything you need to build that is in here. Uh, that's the basic standalone helicopter. 
We did make a bunch of add-on packs. First, was, yeah, let's talk about the first one, the uh, the door gunners, right? Right. We worked with Will from Brick Arms. He was he was generous enough with his time to uh, make us some special packs here. Let me uh, let me put one of these together. Basically, these are you these, you know, in, in Vietnam they had to do. There's a lot of trial and error going on. They made special versions of the. Originally, when they had these things, they'd have door gunners. Um, they wanted to arm the helicopters for like covering fire and stuff. So they made. Um, they just sling basically a. Uh, M60 machine gun from the helicopter, and then eventually they, they decided that wasn't very safe because the machine gunner would be exposed. He'd have to like hang out. With, you know, it's, it's, it's a pistol grip and a rifle stock, so he'd basically have to lean out of the, the mm -hmm. helicopter. Dangerous. Um, not only is it dangerous, but you have to really lean out far if you want to shoot the thing. So they came up with the spade grip version, the UH or it's the M60D mm -hmm. version. Um, spade grips. Will was generous enough to, to make us a bunch of these. Right. It's an add-on pack. It comes with a little pa add-on pack. You have. So if you have an existing Huey, or you want right. to uh, add it to your the, a new one. Right. These are prototypes. So they're going to be a little bit more expensive than your typical brick arms uh, weapons, but you do get two of them. The pack contains two, one for each side. It's a M23 mount. That's just what the military called the special mount that you can basically clip the machine guns on. Mm -hmm. It's a special bar off the bottom of the helicopter. You can still close the door, which is kind of cool. Uh, you would actually the, tilt the Ooh. tilt the gun all the way down, and uh, yeah, you can still close this door with the gun attached. So the move. Pretty fancy. Look at that. Yeah, uh, yeah. You can do it. You can do it. I can, oh, I can do it with the helicopter. Got a little crushed in our demonstration. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. So, You're yeah. a little bit too uh, eager flying in. So. Well, I think yeah, yeah. <laughs> showing off the showing off the doors and stuff. Yeah. No, you, you got it. With the helicopter. But yeah, it does close. It does close. Well, and so that's a, that. Each pack comes with. Good you, get, you get a pair, yes, because you'd have one for each side. And the, the helicopter does have that little bar st uh, stuck to the so side. Just super easy upgrade to your uh, side. Right, and relatively relatively low cost. So you get that upgrade. But if you really want to go crazy, they did make a gunship version. Right, so the original Huey, the, U the UH-1, which became the UH-1A and B, wasn't quite as stretched as the previous, you know, the UH-1D that we showed you. So what I've done is I made... So look at this, is this another kit or what is this, Dan? It's actually a conversion kit. A conversion kit. So What's this is a conversion is kit? It, it allows, <laughs> it comes with the parts you will need to convert your UH-1D right. into the attack helicopter. So you buy a UH-1D and you buy this and you can make this. Right. Everything you see here, here comes in there. And also, I mean, it, it comes a little bit more than that. So yeah. you've got a couple of armaments options. Right now it's equipped with the, the mini guns and the, um, the seven round rocket, hydro rocket pods. Um, that was a standard loadout, you, loadout you'd see a lot. It, I did also include pieces to build the larger hydro rocket pods. When you put the larger ones on, you can't, they, it must have been really heavy or something because they would usually wouldn't be with the mini guns. Right. Um, there's another option uh, that I didn't put in the pack that would, sometimes they'd have pairs of regular M60s facing forward um, on each side, two, two M60s on each side. We sell the M60s already at, at, at through you the want to do that yourself. Yeah, you can you can just clip on a couple of M60s and yeah. away you go. Um, it does come with a, 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 a added sticker pack, so you will have to basically take your UH-1D apart. You'll have, it'll have some extra pieces because right. this is a smaller helicopter. I think this conversion kit comes with 64 pieces, like right, that's it. and brick arms. You're buying an instruction book sticker pack and, and, and a small amount of extra pieces mm -hmm. you're gonna need to make the, the armaments and a couple of other things. I tried to recycle as much as I could right. when I when I made it. You will have pieces left over, no, no escaping it. I did throw in another sticker sheet. Actually Lando made this one. Mm -hmm. uh, well, no, no slam, slam made it. Slam, slam, he's getting good. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you have the obviously the shark teeth. <laughs> um, we do have a couple basically we made the sticker pack to have the 118th air assault unit, which 100, 118th Assault Helicopter Company. There That's we go. Is, yeah. Got spit it. That, spit that out. The Thunderbirds. So you basically have that for the nose art. You have you have another op nose art option. You have the vents. These on, on the side here, because um, this is a different configuration of the engine. Um, and then of course the Thunderbird logos for the tail and the the bandits the bandit symbols for the doors. Um, so yeah, and a different. Uh, you, know, you also get another United States Army because if you do rip this one while you're taking the helicopter apart, you get a replacement. There we go. So yeah, we did throw that in there. We're thinking of you because we care. Right. So this is right. kind of a that that right there is, is the first. That's the second conversion. You can also stick on those those uh, door guns as well. There we go. Everything. So, yeah. Rip up the door guns. Here's one. Yeah, you can stick those on. It, it does work. It does Super work on, cool. on both helicopters. Um, they would typically have door gunners on here, so you'd have a, a four-person crew, uh, you know, two pilots, 
and of course you'd have a maybe that crew looks chief and really a, awesome with all those ammo belts. Like right, <laughs> that's pretty ridiculous. Right, right. So yeah, just make sure you don't shoot off your M60 when you're when you're firing your rockets, or yeah, you don't want to hit that because that would be tragic. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's there it is with all you know that's basically to the nines. This is like a decked out helicopter. So right. we kept the crew separate. Um, just to give you more options. Um, We're always giving you options. Right. Thinking of options. We went, kind of went crazy. This one. <laughs> there's a lot of people that like maybe they have a helicopter already, or or the kits aren't quite in their budget, and, or they're just really into minifigures. So we want to give the option to buy the minifigures. Or you want to upgrade your previous. Right. Edition, and so. it's just a standalone. So both of these are available separately. Right. And these are 360 printed. 360 guys. printed. Um, the, the helmets on those. Those are uh, uh, minifig cat. Yeah, minifig cat. Minifig cat helmets. Uh, they're wearing uh, standard. Um, I think these are like fire resistant um, pilot uh, pants. I, yeah. I, don't, I don't remember the exact. We just name, we didn't we didn't we didn't put it we didn't put the jackets on the guys. Figured you know you see a lot of pictures. So some guys some a lot of times they're wearing their full suits. Right. Um, but a lot of times you just see them wearing a t-shirt or a flak or jacket. Or flak jacket, which we sell a sticker right. pack. Of so, flak jackets, so that if you wanted, you yeah, know. The Widowmaker came with three three flak jackets, but we actually decided we're going to make you a whole pack uh, of flak jackets. If you want to use those stickers, make your own flak yeah. jackets. Super, super, you know, low cost. But how, what do you get? Nine stickers, nine flak jackets? Nine flak jackets. Nine, nine flak like six jackets. Bucks. Yeah, so you could just take your own green, green guys, and now you've got. Or whatever color, really, you know. Yeah. If you're building a big fleshy army or a yellow army, it'd be perfect. Um, I guess didn't a few we more. Do, didn't yeah. you do camouflage helmets, dude? Yeah, those are the Mitchell pattern helmets. Those are available separately as well. So right, we, we it's a whole get, bunch of stuff. We just like it's Vietnam week here, right? We, yeah, Mitchell pattern. We don't. We don't. For some reason, we're not prepared. We don't have a, a we Mitchell. We can show them off in the next sit rep, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Watch next week's sit rep. But we did make Mitchell patch. And what does it say? Born to born to born to build. No, born to kill. Just born like to, the, yeah, yeah. Based off of uh, right. We we know we like making the Lego born to build. Lego jokes, the connections. But we did this one. We did you know historically it's based on born to kill. Yeah. Based on the, uh, there's a movie, famous movie that's <laughs> historically <screenplay>. accurate. Historically <laughs> accurate. Oh, eat my words. Right. Oops. Yeah, we also um, we also did some other stickers too, didn't you? I'm not done talking about these guys. Oh, though. Sorry. Hold on, hold sorry. on, hold on, hold on. One more quick detail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sweat stains. Check that Sweat out. Sweat stains. I was super excited about that. The print guys were like, "Yes, you have to do that. It's so cool. Front and back. These dudes, <laughs> they're in the jungle. They are sweating. It's it's." It's crazy, right? They should take their flak jacket off. They want flak jacket. And I think they're. I think it's just. Yeah. I, I like the do. dog tags. That's a nice touch. Dog tags and check. Okay, the sunglasses. <laughs> Sweaty. Totally Is geeking out about the sunglasses. Those are. There's two different styles there. Uh, based off of historical photos, I found one of them is a the standard issue sunglasses, and there's another one that is a, maybe a variant of that. I wasn't sure if that one was standard issue, but I saw them both in pictures, and they both had these cool like gold rims. Just, oh yeah, That's so classic. 1970s, awesome, classic aviator, so classic. cool. Um, so you saw them here first, cool yep. stuff, awesome. Back to these guys. Here we got the. Viet Cong, right? Viet Cong, another. Where's the NVA? I don't know where my NVA. Yeah, there's yeah, an NVA, so guy. NVA, NVA. We did Viet Cong. Oops. It's a, it's a pack. It has both. Though. Yes, it's the like pack, the sticker pack, has both Viet Cong stickers that you see right here, and there's a few guys that are the NVA. NVA, so they're going to be like what an olive color. Olive, yeah. Yeah. So they're just basic NVA uniforms, which we've never done before. Never. Done. Never made a figure in NVA figure. So, so. Um, you get it in a sticker pack. So the stickers are back. Stickers are back. Stickers are back. We're not going to be able to do stickers every week, but we're going to be doing stickers Slowly whenever appropriately. Mm -hmm. uh, and speaking of, we have one last. One last oh sticker. yeah, we forgot about this that. This is the first time we've ever done this. This is actually, it's it's kind of like the sticker packs that were the the the, the, the uniform sticker packs, same same size, same price. But this is actually another add-on pack mm -hmm. for the Huey. You can actually, this would be great if you had the, the original Hueys or any of the Brickmania Hueys that we've done or, or helicopters. You want to upgrade, um, even even the Cobra would be a great one. Um, we have the other other branches because it wasn't just the army involved in right. Vietnam, uh, and also some of these were used in the modern times. So you can mix and match a little bit. Uh, look at for historical pictures. We we've, we've done the the originals right. previously, um, so you may recognize that in the air cav, of course. Um, this time we've given you we've never given you the tail stickers for the air cavs. So right. That's that's kind of new. Um, also, the Australians are represented. Yeah, check it out. So if you wanted to do the uh, Royal Australian. Air Force, mm -hmm. I believe, is what they the R A F R A A F stands for. Royal oh. Awesome Australian awesome. Force. Royal Awesome Force. <laughs> Royal Awesome Force. Royal 
awesome Aussie force. Yes. <laughs> so little known fact. Well, actually, not a little known. Maybe maybe so some, some of the, the the Americans looking through our, our collective tunnel vision forget that we weren't the only country involved in, in Vietnam. The, the Koreans were there. The Australians were there. So um, we decided this there would be. There's a lot of history involved with the Australians involved in Vietnam. So we threw in some Aussie stickers. There in this we battle. go. There we go. Uh, so that's a first. Uh, first for us. Um, you also get the little stickers to basically, I don't have one here, they're not on them, but you have the stripes for the tails, cool. so, so you don't get your head chopped off by walking right. through the tail. Yeah. So that's a sec separate sticker pack. All these are coming out. This is like the, the most insane week of new releases. It is, like, it's a, but it's cool because it's, it's, there's an easy starting point with just the kit and you can add on as much or as little as you want. Right. Super cool. So, and, and one thing I should point out that if you do want to convert you, this conversion pack, the UH-1C, is designed to go with the new UH-1D. Right. Um, it will not, if, if you want to take one of our older Hueys and convert it, you can, but you're going to have to buy the rest of the pieces mm -hmm. that you're going to need yourself. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit different from the old kit. So yeah, there's, there's been a, quite an upgrade, so, so cool. especially these landing gear. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Nice. It's solid. It's solid. It's swooshable. Brand new, swooshable. It's swooshable. The, 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 As you saw for the intro, highly swooshable. Highly swooshable. And I don't know, we've done it before. You've, you've probably seen it in our videos where we've had them motorize them. Yes, yeah. you can motorize these two. But it's I'd, super empty inside of there. Yeah, you can fit it. It, it still fits the power function of the motor awesome. inside there. But awesome. um, we're not going to provide that for you. You'll have to, you'll have to figure it. out Brick that awesomeness it. yourself. Awesome. Um, anything else? That's it. This is the, this is the UH-1D Huey helicopter designed by Dan Siskind. Good job, Dan. Thanks. Looks pretty awesome. I like it. I like it, too. You like it, too? I like it, too. That's yeah. nice. It's nice. fun to build. <coughs> for more, I always like to I like to be able to do over with some things that I <laughs> think that have, that sucked the previous <laughs> that weren't as good as they should have been the previous time. They've always been cool. They're always <laughs> cool. Uh, for more information on this awesome kit, check out BrickMania.com. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the bell. And also click that bell. The faster you click that bell, the faster these helicopter blades will spin. Go, 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 go. Click, go. click, 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 click. And the faster you learn about like cool things like new releases and like, all the other things, so don't come crying to us when you miss out on a thing because you didn't watch the sit rep or didn't get notified. Yeah, click that, click that bell. Now you're notified. You've if been you notified. The bell. You've been put on notice. Now what? Okay. What's up, Virginia fans? <laughs> Thank you. I'm gone. <laughs>